Black Friday shopping is in full swing with more customers shopping online than ever. But some small businesses have found a way to adapt to the changing holiday shopping habits. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli is live in Lincoln Park. Vince? Good evening, Erica. You know, online shopping is so easy that some worry it could spell the end for small businesses. But we spoke with a small business owner today who says if you use it correctly, it can help you improve the bottom line. Here at Mir's Apothecary, where specialty perfumes are top sellers, they're enjoying the sweet smell of success. Is business booming? Oh, I can't tell you. But Abdul Qayyim can't show us by going behind the scenes of his Lincoln Square brick and mortar boutique. This is where we fill all our orders. Mir's will process for shipment as many as 600 orders a day of specialty soaps and beauty products. I never thought that we would run out of space here. Kaim credits it in part to a strong online presence meeting modern consumer shopping habits. We grow 25, 30% a year over previous year sales every year. Did you ever imagine you'd be this busy? No, God, no. I never in the wildest imagination. This is just shipping to Amazon warehouses. That's right. MERS now has a separate warehouse dedicated exclusively to fulfilling orders through Amazon.com. Look at this, is how many people work here now? Like probably close to 60 people employed right now. Not all storefronts have merchandise as unique as Kayim's, but he believes embracing new consumer habits can sometimes help small businesses thrive. I used to read novels between customers. If I did 400 hours with the sales in a day, I was a lucky man. Entire novel. You can find Abdul at Mers Apothecary tonight for Black Friday, but also tomorrow for Small Business Saturday and online just about every day. Reporting live from Lincoln Square, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News. Yeah, setting those novels aside for a little while. Thank you, Vince.